So, Huckster, the guy you need to find, calls himself Marif. Like, mayor mixed with Shara is stupid, whatever. But he might know how to track down the signal. This guy's still pulling down a fat retirement plan from Hyperion, from my division. I'm basically his boss. He's pretty much on the team already. Visitors from Helios. Uh, so... Here's the thing, uh, uh, no visitors today. Whoa! You were one of us, you stupid named son of a bastard! Thank you for visiting the offices of the Merith. We hope you enjoyed your bureaucratic interactions. Score! Give me time to just... to a bloke's problems. I'll give you that. You sure I can't book you for more, uh, uh physical services? I'm a bloody stress volcano right now, and I can do with the, uh, with the, um, relief. Oh, gross. I make it very clear to all my patrons, Serena is not for... I'll deal with our Marif later. Okay, everything looks set up. Head up to the control panel I've marked on your Echo. Activate it so I can initiate the final scan to pinpoint the signal's origin. The signal's coming from... Crisis Scar. That's an old doll comms facility. Been nothing but scavs there for years. Well, looks like it's working again. Go shut it down. Uh, also, status updates still getting shot at. So if you wanted to hurry, that'd be cool. Attention, citizens of Concordia. Until further notice, for your own protection, the town is in law. This is so frustrating! Get back to Moxie, she's got secret exits everywhere. <laughs> Classic. Sounds like the Merit. Wait a minute, you aren't red or Billy. Oh, flip! The Merit's been working for Zarpadon the entire time! Gah! I'll meet you in Concordia. We need to have a talk with this guy. I'm not torturing anyone for you, Jack. Calm down, we're not gonna hurt him till we find out what the deal is. I urge you to remain calm. The battle raging above us is no cause for alarm. Screw this. Let's go pay him a visit. Like I said, don't get trigger happy. He's got info. I don't want to hear him gurgle it through blood. He has horrible diction to start with. The Merit's elevator is sealed, remember? That's just great. I do oh, have a recording of the Marif talking sexy to Serena, the custom God. bot's favorite squeeze. Nah, that wouldn't work. Could we use that recording of the Marif talking to the Geisha bot? Maybe blackmail our way in? Yahtzee! Let's go find ourselves one soon-to-be outraged customs claptrap. Get that recording ready, Mox. Come back here! I am the law! The law doesn't make mistakes! We're here to file a complaint. Your awesome Marif's been breaking the law. We have evidence. Breaking the law? Why don't you tell me all about it? Thank you for your concern, citizen. Rest assured it shall be logged. Long live the Marif. Mox, hit it. Oh, blimey. You really know how to listen to a bloke's problems. I'll give you that. You sure I can't book you for more, uh, uh physical services? I'm a bloody stress volcano right now, and I can do with the, uh, with the, uh, relief. You know that's not what Geisha bots are programmed for. Serena, really? I'm your merit. You'd be doing Concordia Republic service. I'd make it worth your while. I'm sweet. 
swimming in dial money right now. <laughs> the mayor's interfacing with my Serena? No! I feel so betrayed! And according to my records, the mayor doesn't have the appropriate paperwork to engage in such activities, which kind of makes my outrage morally justifiable! Awesome! Hey, I'm with you, pal. Word is, he's got another appointment booked with Serena right now. What? Citizens, that was not. That may have sounded like my voice, but I, 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 I've been impersonated by someone who sounds like me. I, I, I appreciate you allowing me privacy at this difficult time. Thank you, thank you. This man has no shred of honor. This guy's so busted. Without an inter-organic fraternization license, I'm gonna make his life a living hell. Come on, elevator, let's go. Serena, I'm coming, my love. This is more like it. And here we go. To the barrel. Seriously, you idiot machine. The offices are off. <laughs> right. I'm such a kidder. Up we go. Jackie! Ha ha ha! I should have said you were dead. I did it! Dead time! I traced the signal that took down our systems on Helios. And guess what? It came from here. Your office. Signal? Signal. She might be doing. Where did she come from? And please, lie to me. I really want you to lie to me. I don't know. What are you going to do with me? <laughs> Nothing. I was just messing with you. Get the hell out of here. I've been thinking there's a way back to Helios. I surrender. Yeah. Where was I? All right, my awesome master plan. Taking the fight to Helios is going to need an army, so we make one. Head down to Springs. I'll explain on the way. I'm going to stay here. Going to go through the Marif stuff. First day on the new job, and yeah, it's great to be king. 
I've worked bloody hard to get here, greased multiple palms, and kissed more than my fair share of arses. But it's worth it. Concordia needs someone like me to steer it through some choppy waters. Tough, fair, just the right amount of open-mindedness. And if a bit of extra money happens to fall into my pocket as I do my job, well, I'll just call that campaign finance. Feels great to leave Hyperion. There I was just a small cog in a huge machine. But here, here, oh, I'm a big fish. I really need to work on my visual metaphors. Point is, the future's rosy for Huxter T. Meredith, a.k.a. Concordia's new Meredith. Meredith. A mayor and a sheriff. <laughs> wow. How much crap can one guy shovel? Man, I did the universe a favor wiping out his back shooting traitorous ass. You know what to do. Ah, oh, that was therapeutic. Okay, keep snooping around for another one. Huh? That guy was a walking freaking cliche. Nobody puts stuff behind bookcases anymore. Who even has books? Let's have some fun and see what else our bull shoveling pal had to say for himself. Poet! Everything's going according to plan. I'm richer than my wildest dreams. Popular. <laughs> Alive. The other day, Philo Simmons, the guy with the weird leg, came to the office to thank me for the work I did with the food drive. Thank me! Shook my hand! Tears in his eyes, can you believe it? Trembling chin in the works. I'm a flippin' saint. But why can't I sleep anymore? Sure, I didn't use all the money on food, but the man's got to live. I mean, a little bit. But I'm still what this place needs, aren't I? It's a hard universe, and yeah, I, yeah, I can still turn this around. I can, I can still change. Uh, a guy like that doesn't grow a conscience overnight. He said it himself. He was happy to steal the food out of other people's mouths. Sure, it's a tough universe, but there's no excuse for being an asshole. Unless you're funny with it. Then it's kind of totally fine. But he wasn't even funny! Okay, I actually gotta respect that. Still, guy's an asshole. Was an asshole, I should say. Why listen to this? Just destroy the thing, will ya? I never leave a mission unfinished. And I have to admit, I'm curious to hear what he had to say. Fine. Man, who's the boss here? You came last night, tall bitch. Made me betray Hyperion. Not that I care about the board, money grubbers. Just the clueless workers I'm probably helping to kill. I'm done. I'm out. I could feel the last of whatever it is I call a soul being destroyed as I accepted a payment. <laughs> but I didn't want to die. And if I didn't do what she said, who knows what she had done to Concordia. But I did have the keys to Helios. <sighs> If I leave, then maybe Zavadan and her purple army will leave my people alone. I'll go somewhere. I'll try to make a fresh start. Atone for my sins. I know I'm running away. Bloody coward. I'm the biggest ass on the moon. And there's some asses on that moon, but I'm the biggest. So Hux was crawling around searching for some kind of redemption, huh? Well, I'll give him redemption. In fact, let's immortalize him in song. Don't destroy that last echo. Grab it. Take it to Moxie's and give it to those DJ assholes. Boom and rang. They owe me a favor. I got them the gig. 